Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Two people are facing human trafficking charges following an investigation by the Pike County Sheriff's Office. 31-year-old Jacob West and 27-year-old Kena Reed, both of Pinson Fork, were indicted Monday by a Pike County grand jury. Both were arrested by Pike County deputies on Tuesday. Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott says the case began as an investigation into Jacob West, who worked at the time at a local pharmacy. Well, on August 19th, uh, a representative from Food City contacted us about the possibility of stolen pills in the pharmacy there at Food City, South Wimpson. So we opened an investigation and we've come to find out that over 5,000 pills have been stolen. It's got a street value of over $9,000. And, you know, one of the employees was involved. We got, you know, Food City's uh, videos of their pharmacy. So, you know, it, we, the evidence is there. As the investigation progressed, however, things took a dramatic turn and led deputies to charge the pair with human trafficking. You know, from what we can gather, he was uh, actually uh, getting these pills and taking them to a female. And, and she, in exchange, she was sending him nude photos and uh, even photos of a juvenile, nude photos of a juvenile. So it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. It does fall under human trafficking, uh, which, you know, involving the minor. They're looking at some pretty, pretty tough char charges. Both West and Reed are charged with human trafficking, unlawful transaction with a minor, possession of a matter portraying sexual performance by a minor, and tampering with physical evidence. Jacob West is also facing theft charges for stealing the medication from Food City. Jacob West, who is also a youth pastor at a Pike County church, was released after posting a $10,000 cash bond. Kena Reed remains lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. The case is still still being under investigation uh, and, and will continue to be under investigation for probably a, a few more months.